Mr. July wanted to be the best of us, for us. He wanted to be a new idea. He wanted to inspire us. You know, with inspiration comes hope. He didn't want to do what other people have done. He wanted to tread new ground, like be a leader. When he was done rising to the top of one field, he transitioned and pivoted to another field. And when he excelled in that, he went and leveled up to another field. And he kept on crushing it. He did this while keeping his nose clean. He did it by avoiding being a stereotype. That's how he was seeking to be special. He was funny and charismatic and he laughed. Everybody liked him. And he continued to be different and found her. Now, he can get her to stay with him. And she did. She was like, why wouldn't you? He's Mr. July. He's perfect. He's Prince Charming. Every woman wants Prince Charming. And Prince Charming came knocking. So you open that door. You answer that call. And she did. And they had a family. But maybe he was too perfect. Imagine being Lois Lane and knowing that you will never be like Superman. But you want to be Superwoman. So you get jealous. She was married to Mr. July. That's how we knew her. But she wanted to be something else. He gave her a family. Mr. July was his own idea. He wanted to be something unique and original. And so he had unique and original children. And with this woman, he had a unique relationship and things were good with Mr. July until perhaps August happened but if it wasn't for August it was probably something else time time always happens so he wouldn't be like everyone else he kept his nose clean he kept his mouth clean Mr. July was supposed to be the best of us he excelled at everything he did. Excelled. Exuded greatness. Except. Except that one thing. He could do anything in the world. But get a scorpion to love him. It's just in their nature. If you give him a ride across a river. Both of you will drown. Mr. July was Prince Charming. And he was fresh until she decided he was expired. Even if someone aims to be the best of us, they're still one of us. No one is above being entangled in humiliation. When you play stupid games, you get stupid rewards. And if that game is competing for the love of the world, a fame that could never love you, you risk pulling away from something that already does.